Can you hear me now? Motorcycle Bluetooth communicators. One of the coolest things to come out for motorcyclists as an accessory in the last, I don't know, 15, 20 years. These things let you communicate with your phone, take phone calls, listen to your GPS, listen to a podcast, music, whatever you want. It does that very, very well. The other thing that these allow you to do is to communicate with other riders. That works okay at best. And if you're waiting for a breakthrough, forget it, because they've worked about the same level for over a decade at least, if not about 15 years that I'm aware of. The problem is, is there's two main brands, Cinna and Cardo. They're supposed to be able to talk to each other, but that's never really worked well. And even when it does, it's a very low quality. Even if you have the same brands, you and your buddies, if someone's as older, is behind on a firmware update, they may not work. You now have mesh, non-mesh. The mesh system is really cool, but everybody basically has to have it. And if one guy doesn't have it, you have to hope that the other people that have the mesh systems have the most high top dollar Bluetooth communicator that can do both. And there's only a few in the lineups that can do that. And they are $400 plus communicators. And even when everybody has the exact same unit, they just don't connect sometimes. And then even when they do connect, well, you're at the range of Bluetooth. Uh, the mesh is a little further than it used to be, but things like hills and other tiny things just seem to break it very easily. You're also stuck talking to everybody pretty much nonstop. Know the right way to hit the right combination of buttons. You can kind of get music to play and and talk to people. I've never gotten that to work for more than about 10 minutes. What would be really great if we had another way of communicating with each other, something that worked over long range of distances and didn't matter what brand you had. It's one of these things. It's been around forever. It's a radio. These things don't care what brand you have. Their range is incredibly far compared to Bluetooth. They're a lot cheaper, depending, and they just work. Hey, what channel are you on? Okay, done. No sitting around, playing around, hitting buttons, no syncing, nothing. All you have to do now is shove this into here. Well, that's silly. There are other solutions. For anyone who's been watching my videos for the last uh, over a year now, you've probably seen me rocking a radio of some kind on my handlebars. This has been something that we've been testing out for a while now. We've been trying to come up with a setup that we would recommend for you, and that's what this is. So this is a radio by Oxbow. This does two particular things that make it very useful for a motorcyclist. It has built-in Bluetooth, so this communicates directly with the communicator on your helmet. It's, it's, it's weather resistance, made for snowmobilers, which is actually great vibrations, they know snow's hitting things. It's more than fine for a motorcycle. It doesn't care about pairing with the group. You just put it on the same frequency all your buddies are on, done. Chris asked me that one time, he said, you know how much time you think we've wasted standing around trying to pair these Bluetooths? And I said, lots. I have no idea, uh, all of it. Probably entire rides worth of time that we've sat there and tried to pair these stupid things. You got everybody in, but Matt's isn't paired for some reason. You're like, I'm sorry, Matt, we just can't, we have to go. It's been 30 minutes. So we're gonna show how you exactly you set one of these up, take it for a test ride, and then we're gonna show you some other options at different price ranges and convenience levels. So let's check this thing out a little closer. First of all, Oxbow did give me this radio. No agreement to say anything nice about it. Yes, you get the radio. Look at this being an unboxing channel. We never do this. You get a little clip here, which this goes onto the back of the radio. It has a kind of a GoPro style mount and this could be clipped to backpack strap pretty easy. I think that's kind of their intention with something like that. So it's a GoPro style mount in the back, which also is apparently a belt clip. Comes with some instructions, a lanyard, charging cable, actually gives you one of these. Look, you never get one of those anymore. Much better than the iPhone gives you. If you want to mount it to your handlebars, you can go with the Ram mount option if that's what you're into. I love Ram mount stuff. I've run it all over the bike. It's one of my favorite ways of mounting things. Ah, this is why I'm not an unboxing channel. <laughs> Since this is a GoPro style clip on the back, you'll need something like this, a little Ram mount ball that goes through a GoPro. Believe it or not, this is actually really hard to find. Like you think, oh, Ram mount to GoPro. Yeah, yeah, but not in this way. We'll link it in the description. But that goes in the back there. And it clips in. This is something I find with most GoPro mounts. It has a little bit of rattle, this one does. I just simply put a couple small strips of electrical tape right down the center there, usually two strips, and it'll it'll fix it. What I have this paired to my Cine here, this is a, an ST1. I have this paired as a second phone. When you fire this guy on, there's a Bluetooth button over here on the volume button. Just hold it for a second, and it'll get a little flashing light for one of the first Bluetooths. Then you're gonna power this guy on, throw it in phone pairing mode. With this paired as a second phone, I can have my actual phone still, they're both paired to this right now. I can play music, listen to GPS, take a phone call, and have this running at the same time. What simply happens is when you press the button, it takes about a second for it to flip off of this one and then flip over to this guy. Then you can just start talking. When you first get this, you're gonna need to take a few minutes trying to pair these two together and make sure you have good system for that. You may find that first time you connect it, it might be a little bit of a pain. You might have to have this on before this on or something like that. We do find sometimes with Bluetooth, that's not a fault of the radio. It's kind of just how the communicator works and just in general Bluetooth technology. Right now, personally, I found by connecting this as a second phone, it doesn't seem to matter what order I turn any of this stuff on, it does eventually all connect back up. I do want to demonstrate to you guys real quick though, if you are playing something like music and it gets interrupted, it will jump back. It takes a little bit of time, but it will jump back. Interrupting the radio.
So here we are, ready to go for a ride. I've got music playing. Well, I've, we've been interrupting it because we just did a quick comm check. But literally all I've done is I just fire this thing on and you hold the Bluetooth button down for like two seconds and it just connects on its own. And so Rivet's got a really cool thing going on in his helmet where you're gonna actually be able to hear my audio, how it comes in. He's actually split the things off and he's running one back into the camera. I gotta get a setup like that, it's super cool. Oh, there goes my music, my music just came back. As soon as I give it gas, it dies. Or maybe give it a little choke. That bike needs a good riding, that's what that is. I just wanna point out here real quick that Rivet is on a Cardo and I'm on a Cinna. It doesn't matter. We could all be on whatever we want. Another thing I'm gonna point out here too is that me and Rivet, like as I'm talking right now, he can't hear me. In fact, my music just came back on. This radio has a Vox setting, which means it'll just come on when you start talking if you'd like to run that, if that's something that you're interested in. By the way, you can get a Bluetooth button. We'll show you that in a minute if you wanna put it like up here on the handlebars. Right now, I'm gonna touch this one to talk to him. I haven't actually pushed this button down, interrupt people's music, interrupt your own music. It adds a level of priority to the conversation. Again, you can turn Vox on if you don't want that. I have found though, normally with settings like that, the general road noise might set it off. See, he doesn't know I'm talking right now. That's just also a thing too, if you're a vlogger like I am, it's always awkward when you're in the group because you're trying to talk to the camera. I guess he is interrupting me occasionally, but I'll take that over uh, just having open comms all the time. Hey, Rivet, how's the bike running for you now, buddy? Is it running good? Uh, it still seems just a little bit rough. I I'm not sure if it's uh, just the bad gas. When you uh, when you were getting on the throttle there earlier, it was smoking. Get on the throttle hard, let me see. Yeah, a little bit of smoke coming out of it. It don't smell like oil, it smells like bad gas. I think you just need to get some new, new gas in that thing. But yeah, we spent like zero time. We just got on the bikes. We, we were both, oh, I'm on channel six, you're on channel six, which is a frequency if you're on a GMSR radio. We'll talk about that later. I've got my jams playing. I can do it, I can do what I want. And then, then when we want to talk, we talk. It's not exciting, but it works. So you see, to the cop, you look like you're just some commuter. So I got some dual sport commuter, but me? See, I'm a school again. Look at me with my Motard wheels. They're gonna come and arrest me now. <laughs> yeah, especially in this town. Oh, Rivet, do you need a fuel stop? Oh, yeah. yeah sir, I need a fuel stop. <laughs> yeah. You could totally use them for that if you were like, oh, I got to get gas. It's probably one of the biggest thing you use a communicator for. You think I should get a car wash? I, I clicked yes. <laughs> These things are waterproof, right? Rainproof. My radiotity is <laughs> When this thing still had ABS on it and you were trying to do shit like that, the ABS had a fucking fit. It was very unhappy with me. We're gonna do a range test here. I've reset, I've reset my miles here. Rivet, can you hear me? Yes. Okay, it works at zero zero. All right. Wish me luck. Woo! That's 0. 0.5 miles. Can you hear me now? Uh, that's 0. 0.5 miles. Can you hear me now? Yes, I can, but it's starting to break up. I was gonna say, we'll keep going though. Yeah, I mean, that, it's not, I can still understand you. It's just like, it's almost like I can hear the vibration of the bike. Yeah, honestly, that can do really well anyway. Uh, but we're up to 0.8 miles now. Okay, this is one mile. Can you hear me, Rivet? One mile. Can you hear me, Rivet? Yep, I can hear you loud and clear. 1.2 miles. Can you hear me, Rivet? 1.2 miles. Can you hear me, Rivet? Yeppers! 1.3, I haven't heard back from him. We'll pull over up here, I'll ask him. Rivet, can you hear me? Can you hear me, Rivet? Rivet, can you hear me? Can you hear me, Rivet? I can hear you now, yes. Rivet, can you hear me? Rivet, can you hear me? Can you hear me? Oh! I, I just heard that! I held the radio up high in the air and I could hear you. I feel like you can't hear me anymore. I'll start heading back. This is close to the one mile mark again. All right, Rivet, I'm close to one mile. Can you hear me, Rivet? One mile, can you hear me, Rivet? Wow, I am super surprised I can still hear you. Like, I, I thought I would have lost you. Let me try with the other radio then. This is the other radio. Oh, you're on the other radio now, okay. 
Yeah, I think the Oxbow's antenna is what's limiting that. That's one of the reasons to go with the GMRS ones is because you can get much better antennas for them um, that aren't limited like the Oxbow one because it's FRS. It's, it's, a, it's a good point. The stop sign is basically a mile from here. Uh, I could still hear you pretty good there. Once I started getting past there, it was real... Well, because I think there's a dip in the road there, and so you end up breaking line of sight. I'd say with the Oxbow, effectively, to be for sure, I'll say about three quarters of a mile. A mile pushing it, but three quarters of a mile. A mile, if you have a really clear shot, most likely will work. Do we want a cluttered distance test? I mean, I could get behind those trees right there. I don't think that's gonna do anything. I mean, there... I... Let's just see! Let's just see! I mean, we're here, f*** it! All right, there's some trees between us, Mr. Rivet. Some trees. Rivet, some trees. Can you still hear me? Yes. Yeah. Full, fully loud and clear. Uh, well, hang on. I'll add some more. Okay. I'm gonna keep. We're gonna keep this going. Well, get ready, cause there's now a building between us. What do you think of that? Building between us. What do you think of that? That's. I mean, it's still perfectly fine. I can still hear you. Well, there's even more of a building between us now. Ha! -ha! Now there's a building all the, all the way between us. Can you hear me, Mr. Rivet? Yep, loud and clear, no problem. There's absolutely no way that a, a Senna or a Cardo is going to do that. <laughs> do, do you see me down here? Are you in the, like, parking lot or something? Nope, I'm on the road now. Oh, wow, over, all the way over there. Absolutely no way you can see that wheelie in the GoPro. <laughs> <laughs> Overshot you a little there. Okay, I literally looped around that whole building over there, and it was all like you're a little ring, 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 but I could hear you. I could make you out. So uh, I have no idea how many miles that is. It doesn't even really matter. I, I just put a building between us, and uh, it did well. For sure, no Bluetooth is going to do that. That was pretty good. Absolutely no way the Bluetooth would do it. Obnoxiously, I'm now telling you, on top of your Bluetooth communicator, go out and buy a hundred dollar radio and some other stuff. And so what we want to do here is show you a few setups and Rivet's going to also tell us the difference between FRS and G GMRS. Should we talk about that first? Yes, the Oxbows are FRS, which means you don't need a license, whereas the FCC wants you to buy a license for GMRS. Now, it's $35, you don't have to learn anything, you just pay them and they give you a license and they give you a call sign. The GMRS gives you a lot more options like removable antennas on certain channels. You can do up to 50 watts. The more range. Yes, much more range. Much more range. With the license, how long is that good for? 10 years. 10 years, okay. So 10 years, and, and that's the thing is like, and I know it probably will annoy some of y'all that are really into radios. And I, I think yeah. he's told me, get your stupid license. And I'm always like, I don't wanna, I don't wanna do it. That's why to me, something like the Oxbow is really like appealing because it's just like, oh, there it is, it just works. We wanna show you some options here uh, for different price ranges. The absolute cheapest, let's say you're like, I wanna get into this, Jake, and you don't have a Bluetooth communicator and you're not interested in that, you just want the ability. Go to your, your big box store. You go to Costco, you go to Walmart, you just get an FRS radio. And then you go onto eBay and you buy yourself a wired headset that'll go into your helmet. These are like 30 bucks and 30 then bucks and 40 bucks. The benefits of this are real simple. It's cheap. This is the cheapest way to get into it. When you're gonna be wired directly to it, I don't necessarily recommend you have this connected to your handlebars. You don't wanna tether yourself to, yeah, the, to, to, the, the, bike. to the bike. Yeah, a lot of them are screwed together. There is a brand out there we found that is a motorcycle one with, same, the only difference is those pop together, but they charge like 200 and something dollars for this, which is yeah. insane. Yeah. It's four times the cost. It doesn't even come with a radio. Like honestly, if you really wanted to, just have this connected and just don't screw it together. I would just, uh, you know what I'm saying? That that actually holds really well. I would almost just put a piece of duct tape over this it. This is not gonna have any sort of waterproof ability. So if it starts to rain, you're gonna wanna have to pull over and stick this in a Ziploc. Um, you could always just tuck a Ziploc kind of over this. Well, there are some that, depending on the headset connector. Yeah, this is, this is where we're gonna get into the weeds of this. There yeah. are so many ways you can cut this and we can't test all of them. I would love to go Project Farm and like, spend a year testing like yeah. 30 different setups, but there's so many subs and everything we're gonna show you here, can, there's ways you can flip and move and do this and that. But uh, I know I've ran a simple radio like this with a simple 
connector into the helmet while paramotoring, which is way louder than motorcycling. It does work. With actual Bluetooth headsets for motorcycles, they do a really good job of filtering down the noise a bit and cutting out the background noise. You're not gonna get that, but people will still be able to hear you. You may have to crank it, it's not gonna sound the best, yeah. but this just simply works. And it gets, it gets you into it as cheap as you possibly can. Now we wanna give you an option where say if you have Bluetooth on your helmet already, and the big, big thing with the Bluetooth on your helmet already, that we, from what we can tell, it just needs to be able to connect to two channels. I've definitely seen Bluetooth on the market that claim that they only connect to your phone. Right. And I'm not, yeah. I can't def definitively say that those will connect. It's at least saying phone and like one other rider, like a passenger or right. phone and GPS, so like, like you said. It, yeah. yeah. It's gonna need to at least have two channels. Uh, we found that most of the main brand ones, like I think Cinna and Cardo have yeah. like $100 have options. $100 ones, yeah. And those will be able to do that. But if you already have one, you can get the simple $20, $30 radio. So these are eBay Bluetooth adapters plug into Kenwood headset jacks. And so that will work on this particular Kenwood FRS radio. There are other adapters that you can find on eBay for other, like you've got to, you got to figure that part out for yourself. And you can set this other one on the handlebars and make it real convenient to press if you don't like actually reaching up and pushing Which it's, that's, the button. That's definitely my favorite because I'm still a new rider. I don't want to take my hands off the bars. Yeah, but even, like, even then, like honestly, I need to set a button up on mine too yeah. because it's, it is, it is like, I can reach over and do it when things are right. Yeah. But yeah, there's yeah. times when we've been off-roading where it's a little, yeah, uh, yeah, a little I sketchy, can grab it, yeah, you know, yeah. but I want to be holding on. But yes. you are Bluetooth now. Yes. You can walk away from your bike, you can do get on yep. it. This will pair you pair it like product again, a second phone or right. something like yeah. that. Is a downside, I'll say you're gonna have to keep uh, uh three things charged now. Correct, uh, yeah. Not gonna work in the rain. Put it on your handlebars and you put a bag over it and then you you mm -hmm. put a, a zip tie this, or whatever. And this can still be done uh, with an FRS or or if, if you want to get a little more power. A GMRS. Correct. Yes. Yeah. So this is there's yeah. options within here. And you can find GMRS radios in places like Walmart or Cabela's or whatever. Mm -hmm. This is the next step up. Also, we had to basically build our own mounts for it, which you 3D right. printed, yeah. which is one of these things. I think there are some people that sell those, but yes. honestly, you can find this on uh, what, what Thingverse or those other sites. And if you got yeah. a buddy with a 3D printer, yeah. he can make one of these. You modified this one uh, a bit I, for us. I, I will put the file for these on, in the Discord. Okay, yeah. Along. So you got to join the Discord. One of the big things is this is USB rechargeable. It's just Type C. Mm -hmm. uh, so is the Oxbow, um, and so is the other one that we're going to talk about next. You just need to hook it up to USB and you're done. This one isn't waterproof, just like the Baofeng, neither of them are waterproof. When you're on one of these radios, these simple FRS radios, they're just going to have channels like 1 through 20 or right. whatever. One through 20. Those do relate to a frequency. Correct. You, you just have to, like, I don't know them off the top of my head, I have to, yeah, to I look always, them up. I always have to look them up. Yeah, which is yeah. something that if we go on a trip and you're on one of these and I'm on one of these, we're probably going to have to get a cheat card before we go. So that's a perfect segue way for the this next radio this is a cool radio gmrs pro and it has an app will actually show you what frequency the radio oh, is so on so that's right there one yeah, through yeah. and 30. you, can, you okay. can actively change which channel the radio and is on, change that. on your phone oh it, God, it that's also cool. uh i'm gonna dox myself here but it'll show where you are yeah i won't dox him but it has g it shows yeah. so can you record what it's doing in gps or you can what, what is what is the purpose of this having gps oh so this will transmit its coordinates over GMRS to another radio of this type. I will say that's one of the things about the app for this. If it's running, your GPS is on and it will overheat your phone Ooh. and eat all your battery. <laughs> all right, make good sure, enough. Yeah, good you gotta know. make sure right. you close it. <laughs> it's funny, we jumped into this. We forgot to explain one of the big things. This is Bluetooth and waterproof. Uh, out the box. Yeah, so that's the other big thing with this radio. I'm gonna call this the <coughs> nerdy option. If you want to get really into well, the nitty gritty of GMRS and you want a full featured radio, it's got APRS, it's got Bluetooth. It's a button. They also offer a wireless button in the phone app. When you're looking at the settings, look at the connection management. So it'll hook up to my phone and it'll hook up to the wireless push to talk button and wow. it'll hook up to the pack talk so that you can control all of that through your your phone, through the radio, so that there's none of this doing around about like, oh, am I connecting to the, the Oxbow? Is it, how, yeah. how do you set it into the, to the scanning thing? Oh, that is thing? a really cool thing. Right, like it's so much better. Like you're not just looking at a blinking light, hoping the other blinking light sticks up to That's it. That's a really good setup. Yeah, you so do have to get a license for that, but right, that is yeah. a, that's a it, really cool option. And something too I think is worth mentioning is you would also probably need one of these 3D printed mounts. Yes, you do. Um, and I, I have a new file that fits this one. Yeah. It's my favorite so far. The, the one problem we've had, I think this is quieter than this. 
Uh, so I have to talk louder when using this radio than I do with the oxbow. Interesting. Okay. And that, that was just something I noticed on the bench, mm -hmm. and then and we experienced well riding. Yeah. I guess with that, let's talk about the oxbow. Oh yeah, you, they gave you this radio. You're gonna say whatever. I, I've just told you there's an option that's cheaper that literally does yep. more. So I mean, you know, don't beat me up here. This is what they sent me, and yeah, this is well, this is yeah, this is the one we're using, and it's a hundred and what eighty dollars, right? Yeah. Now they have a Bluetooth button that's gonna come out that hasn't come out yet, but we found out this button, well, you, he's made it work for, I got it to kind of work for mine. Yeah. We'll works. have to play with it some more. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try it right now. You try it right, okay. Because I, I was using it while we were down there. <laughs> Oxbow says they're gonna come out with their own button. The uh, B-Tech one works. So you don't have to wait. Yeah, yeah it's uh, interesting too, because this doesn't even have a rechargeable. It just has a watch battery in yeah, it. Yeah, it just has a watch battery. But apparently it'll and go it, for like a stupid, like it's just on all the time. Yeah. But it, it's gonna last for months. I think months. It, it turns on whenever you hit the button. Well, anyway, the right, Oxbow, because this is a GoPro setup, you could literally just take one of those stickies. If you just found a place on your bike, you won't mind putting one of those sticky GoPro guys. You could always clip this in. If you want to do a RAM mount setup like me and Rivet did, uh, what were those little balls, $12? 10 Ten dollars, okay. Ten bucks, yeah. So ten bucks for a mounting option is not bad. Uh, again, this will se seemingly pair to a cardio, pair to a Senna. I'm sure it'll pair to just about any of them out there, and it just works very simply. Yeah, it's, it's a little more. I guess it's technically the most expensive radio up here we've shown. It is the most expensive, but it's also the least hassle. It is, yeah. It's, it's, it's been very, very simple. Um, it the the key is it you buy it and it works. Yeah, and you got the uh, rechargeable down here. At least I'd say while you're charging it, you want clear weather. There's a little bit of back and forth between that radio and this one, but for the most part, as you're going up in price, they, they all work, what we've explained, but you're going up in yeah. uh, its convenience and features. Yeah. This is dead simple. There's like two or three menu settings. This is like the thing, right? There's so many radios out there. There's so many Bluetooth. There's so many ways to cut this conversation right here that, you know, we're just trying to show yeah. you some things that we've we've used in the field or we know work. And I think it's funny that like, we've now gone to this radio technology, which is much older than Bluetooth and <laughs> much yeah, better in yeah, every and, way. And, yeah. <laughs> well, that's the thing, because uh, Bluetooth, it, uh, I looked up the FCC specs for these. Yeah. And they transmit at point two watts yeah just, just uh, and at 2.4 gigahertz right and then you step down to frs and these oxbows are two watts at 460 megahertz that's a much bigger wave yeah. it'll go through a lot more stuff like the building that like you were behind and then if you right? go to one of these uh, another step up right? right and you can you can do higher powers even still um or more importantly bigger antennas because the the Look, Chris has got something on his setup where he's got an antenna off the off the off the back and that, of his it's bike. It's going to be even better than yeah. any of this stuff. We really wanted yeah. to get Fire Guy out here too because he's yeah. he is so nerdy about this stuff now. He's gotten so into it in the last year or two. Uh, he's going to be mad when he sees this. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Let's all get some let's all get some radios, boys. Come on, you can sword fight them when you get bored. Um, <laughs> It's not exciting. It's not exciting. I swear. It's, I know it's, it's, it's not, not exciting. It's not. But it works. <laughs> that's that's the key. Is it works? Yeah. Yeah. If it was too exciting, there would be some. There would be a catch. So you're gonna have those prints in the in the Discord. Yep. So the, join uh, the Discord. The STL for those. Yeah. It, um, I, you might be able to convince me to to make one for you, and I, I'll ship it. You gotta join the Patreon. Join the Discord. and It's one dollar a month. If nothing else, jump in there and, and steal the stupid prints and, and give them to all your buddies. Yeah. I, mean, I don't want you to do that, but I, I'm not going to tell you not to. because I not. will definitely come after you if you start selling them. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah don't, don't do that. <laughs> I think that covers it. All right. Yeah. See you next time. I'm going to throw up. <laughs> <Is> that <laughs>